Earlier this month, I showed you how two cemeteries owned by the San Antonio Archdiocese had fallen behind on landscaping and other maintenance issues, leaving several families upset. Many of the problems were related to recent heavy rains we had, and a spokesman said they were working hard to clean things up. I promised you that we'd go back to check up on their progress, which I did this week. Here's what I found. It's tonight's Defenders Update. I'm sure they can find some people that uh, they can hire to do a, to do a better job keeping it up. The brother, I have to clean that out. Miguel Herrera, one of many people we talked to in May and June who were upset with the conditions at local Catholic cemeteries. San Fernando number two and three had become overgrown with weeds and grass and heavy machinery used for burials had left these deep tire tracks in the grass and some gravestones covered in mud. That's why Herrera and others began bringing their own lawn care equipment when visiting their loved ones. And I even started doing some of the other people, but I said, God, you know. You could be here all day, right? You could be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> you feel guilty. Yeah, I, there's a lot of guilt uh, involved just leaving them like that. When I visited on Monday, we found cemetery crews hard at work and what appeared to be some additional crews helping them out. Many areas of the cemeteries were freshly mowed and trimmed. The Archdiocese said in a statement that additional workers were brought in and groundskeepers are working overtime to catch up with the landscaping, but the weather wasn't helping. That weather also causing problems like this. Even though it's been rainy, crews have still had to perform burials, leaving some areas with deep trenches from those tire tracks. Church officials say the trenches are being repaired as the weather permits. Another problem still being addressed is sunken graves caused by the heavy rains. The Archdiocese says crews continue to locate, inspect, and repair the graves as they find them. Now, one more area of concern we saw was at this mausoleum. It had some significant sinking at San Fernando number three. The Archdiocese says crews have begun working in that area and it could take a few weeks or more for that work to be completed. We'll stay on top of this story for you and let you know as their progress continues to restore those grounds.